Okay, hello. We're going to use a tutorial here in Photoshop uh, is, is to paint. So it says four ways to pick a color. So let's, um, and that's what this artist did right here. And so let's, let's go find this one. Four ways to pick a color. I'm going to go into the home screen, go into the browse tutorials here. Browse tutorials. And with this right here, we're going to look for all categories. And right here, beginner. And let's see, it is under paint right here. You could also search for it, four ways to pick a color. And we're going to start the tutorial. So let's see here. It says click the foreground color box to open the color picker. Choose a purple color from the vertical bar and then click in the upper part of the large color box to choose a light purple. So I already chose a light purple on the, the background, but let's do this again so you guys can see it. So in the foreground, we'll click that box in the front. That's the foreground picker. We're going to come over here just so we can see what's going on. We're going to slide this up to a purple, so whatever purple, and then up here towards the top somewhere is going to be our purple. <clears throat> Let's go somewhere like that. Now it says select the brush tool. If this tool is already selected, click on another tool and then click back on the brush tool. <clears throat> so that's already selected, so I'm going to go outside of it, back to it again. It says click to open <clears throat> the brush preset picker. So we're going to brush pick this right there. It says in the general folder for general brushes, choose the soft round brush and set the size to about 50 pixels. Now, it depends on what you're going to color because 50 pixels might be too big. So let's try it out here at 50 and see what that gives us. I'm going to go to 50. And then for the hardness, you can experiment with this, but I'm going to go so roughly around 50% hardness, right in the middle, and 50 here for the size. And I'm going to change the size as I need it. So I'm going to click there, click next. Let's see what it says. Choose the multiply. What's on multiply, but let me show you what's going to be. Choose multiply as a blend mode. This will let the black lines of the sketch show through the colors you will paint with. Click next to continue. So right up here, it's probably going to be set to normal unless you had it set to something else. You're going to go find multiply right there like that. Now, we're going to click next. And we're going to start the brush. Uh, so we're going to use the brush tool paint uh, to paint the foreground color on one of the flower shapes in the sketch. Don't be concerned about painting within the lines. So let's find one of these. We see one flower, two flowers, three flowers, four flowers. So the question is, what flower are we going to do? Let's do this one. But I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go Command Plus if you have a Mac keyboard. That's the white keyboard. If you have a Windows keyboard, then you're going to go to the Windows Plus. And I'm just going to zoom in all the way here. Okay. So now... I'm looking at this size brush for 50 pixels. It seems too big to me. So depending on what I'm going to color, I'm going to come down here to a size like this, okay? I got closer to 20. And I'm just going to paint in here. I'm not worried about coloring out. However, I'm not going to paint indiscriminately. So if it comes out a little bit, I'm not worried about it. And if you have some kind of input device, like a tablet or something, that might work better. 
There we go. And if let's say you mess up, that's okay. You can always change it. But let's zoom out and see what that looks like. Hey, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Okay, let's go on and see where we're going to continue with this tutorial next. Now it says, select the eyedropper tool. This tool can be used to sample an existing color from the artwork. So let's click that. And now it says, use the eyedropper tool to click on a light green color in the flower's photo. This will change the foreground color to the color you selected. So let's again, let's zoom in. Let's see, let's find a very light green. I'm sure you could do any kind of color. Let's go right up there. That's a very light green. Now select the brush tool. And with the brush tool still selected, paint one of the leaves with the green color you sampled from the photo. Click next to continue. So I'm going to hold down the space bar and that gives me the little move tool. Or I could click on there to move it like this too. So I'm zoomed in. I'm going to find a leaf. Let's find this leaf right there. Let's move the brush size to what we need the brush size to be for this. And I'm going to go even smaller because I want this and I can go bigger as I need it. So right in here. But since this is a small selection, it's not a big deal. Again, if I come out, maybe I'll even do it on purpose just to kind of give that look a little bit, go outside of the lines a little bit. Outside a little bit there. And I'm going to go Command-0 to zoom back out, see what that looks like. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that color. And I'd probably use, well, as I paint, paint this, I'm going to do different colors in here, okay? And even on these, this one, I might even change it just a little bit. I'm going to show you another trick here, too. If you want to give the impression of different layers, like, you know, you can kind of go in here like that a little bit, or you can even change the softness. Maybe I'll come up the sides just a little bit. Change the softness all the way down. You can kind of give it a little bit, a little different layers there, kind of like just a slight. But you want to have it on the softest one so it kind of blends in. So I'm going to, Probably go bigger hardness again. I go back to 50. So that's a trick you can do. Let's go like this. So let's continue and see where this tutorial leads us here. Next. Okay, so now it wants us to do something cool. It wants us to, let me close these up so you can kind of see what it might look like right here. What it wants us to do is one of the on um, open one of the swatch folders and so click on a color swatch to set that as the new foreground color. So let's do a a pale color, or let's do a darker color. No, let's not do darker. Let's see. Let's do pastel. I'm just going here. Let's do a pastel. Let's do a blue pastel. How about that one. Okay. Now it says, click the small curved arrow icon to switch the foreground and background colors. This will set the color you just chose in the swatches panel as a new background color. I think I did that wrong. Let's see. What does it say in here in previous? Previous, it says, Choose the color with eyedrop. Open one of those and click on this to set that as the new foreground color. Oh, I did that. Brianna Batera, please call the front office. Brianna Batera. Click the curves and the background colors. This will set the color you just chose in the swatch pad as a new background. Okay, that's right. So it did choose that one as the background color. Let's click on a different color swatch to set that as the new foreground color. Okay, so let's click on, how about a pure color? Mm, how about this, this orange right there? That looks great. And then click next. With the brush tool still selected, 
paint on another flower in the sketch with a new foreground color that you chose from the swatches panel. Click next to continue. Okay, so let's zoom in here. We're going to do another color here. Let's do this one right here. This is going to be orange. And I'm going to make the size maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, let's color in here like. And so you got to go back and kind of adjust what you want the size to be. For me, it's kind of like if it comes outside of the lines for this assignment or this tutorial, that's fine. You know, but yeah, I still have some control over it. Okay. Painting this. Let's see, how does that look? That looks good, I think. Okay, so now, it says now, so, okay, so now we switched the color and we're now we're gonna do another color. And this time, that size is pretty good, so let's switch this to light blue here. Oh, that blue has a, a little bit of green in it. It's almost kind of closer to an aqua, which is kind of cool. Again, if I want to kind of give an impression of some different layers, I can do that technique where I change it softer. So I'll show you that in a second. So let's say if I want to give it a slightly different layer, I can go and I turn it on very low. So watch when I go like this, it kind of gives a, a different layer there with that color. Okay, so now let's click next and that's it. And then you're going to do all of these colors, okay? And that's the tutorial. So you want to color in all these different leaves, these colors, and you have a lot of fun. And you know, another one we could do here would be the lips. So like this, we can go to a light color. Let's say a uh, light color like this, maybe. And what we can do is if we want to close it in, we could pick the magic wand magic one like that and then take the brush and make me make that a little smaller and first we're gonna I'm gonna go just a little smaller maybe close to 50. so i'm gonna color this all in like this and then i'm gonna go over the top again like this because it's a soft one See how that changes there? It kind of gives it a little bit of a lighter top and bottom, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. And then you can deselect it by going with the deselect. Okay? So those are some techniques that you can do to color, paint in Photoshop. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with this tutorial. I had a lot of fun showing you.